I'm going to make some tuna patties and give them a bit of an eggs benedict feel. So serve it with some poached eggs and some spinach and also a cheats hollandaise. Now usually when you make a hollandaise you whisk up some egg yolks and slowly add in some butter. That takes a bit of time and technique but this cheats one using some creme fraiche is an absolutely amazing recipe. So let's get on to our patties first. I've got some tuna in spring water. So you'll need two cans of this. We're going to drain it off first. Drain it really well. We don't want too much liquid in this. And just break up the tuna with your spoon so it's all flaked and quite even. Okay, great. Into a bowl, I'll add that tuna along with one small red onion, finely chopped. You want it to be quite fine. I don't want an intense onion flavour. Pop that to the side. To this, I'll add a few binding agents. So a little breadcrumb, along with some freshly grated parmesan cheese and one egg. So we'll crack that straight in. A little pinch of salt. You don't need too much salt for this because the tuna is salty enough. And some garlic powder. Just loving adding some garlic powder to this. Just gives it a little hint of garlic without being overly intense. So that goes in. And a pinch of paprika. And I'm going to just leave a little back just for the garnish later on. So we'll give that a bit of a stir. Break it up with the back of your spoon. And to this, I want to add lots of herbs for some freshness, a combination of dill and chives. And for the dill, we'll add about half of this. We don't want the stalks. Pull them off. And finally chop the dill. And we'll again reserve some of the dill for the garnish later on. And then to this, some chives. So we'll just gather them up and finally chop them. Oh, smells so good. And then we'll add this to our tuna mixture. In it goes. That's looking good and it smells great with all those herbs. And the last thing I want to add is some leftover mashed potatoes. So we want about three quarters of a cup of the mash. Okay. And this will make four large patties or eight little ones. I'm going to make large ones because I want it to be the bed for the poached egg and the sauce on top. So let's divide that into four. So about a handful like that. And we're going to form that into a ball to start with. See how that's holding? That's what we're after. I'll grab another bowl and we'll add some more panko crumbs. And this is going to be the cover. So we're going to press that down into a patty as it goes into the breadcrumbs and coat it quite generously. And as you're putting it into the crumb, just use your hands, almost cup that so we get that perfect patty shape. Okay, let's fry this off. So some oil in a pan, quite a lot of it, just so it covers the base. And then to check that that's really hot, what I like to do is just add a little breadcrumb. And see how that starts to sizzle around there? You know that that's the perfect temperature into the pan. I'm gonna fry that until it's golden. Now while that's cooking, let's poach an egg to serve with this. Just a small pot with lots of water in it and vinegar. Use some white vinegar and lots of it. By doing that, it's really gonna hold its shape. And my little trick is to grab yourself a little bowl and we'll crack our egg straight into the bowl. And the fresher the eggs are, the better it is going to be for poaching. Once you start to see all these little bubbles and it's almost coming up to the boil, make a bit of a whirlpool and the aim is to get that in the whirlpool so all of that egg white wraps around that yolk making that perfect teardrop effect. So it's going to cook for about three minutes. I love a gooey centre. Once that's all cooked we can make our hollandaise. All right, this tuna patty is looking so good. So we'll take it out of the oil and just next to our perfectly poached egg, we'll let that drain off. Okay, also a pinch of salt just on the top of that. And let's get on to our cheats hollandaise. So to make this extra special, you'll need some creme fraiche. Now creme fraiche has a lovely tangy flavour to it. That's why I like to use it. So we want a good amount of that. Let's say about half of this tub. And we'll add that to the bowl. 
along with some mayonnaise. Now, you can make a homemade mayonnaise, but it is a cheats hollandaise, so I'm going to be using some store-bought. Some Dijon mustard. And to really give it an extra zing, the zest of some of this lemon and the juice. So we'll just grate that straight over the top and then the juice of half of this lemon. It really depends on how juicy they are. This one, I have a feeling, is going to be very juicy, so half is plenty. You really want to taste the lemon in this. So mix that together and keep mixing until we've got a lovely smooth sauce. Okay, a little pinch of salt and another mix. That's pretty smooth now, so I'm happy with that. We just have to taste it. Oh, that's very good. Love that, and it took seconds to make. I love how I can taste the tanginess of that creme fraiche. So to plate this up, I'm gonna add a bed of baby spinach to the plate. Usually with an Eggs Benedict, you would have the base, so the bread and then the salmon or the ham and then the poached egg. But I kind of like doing the spinach first for this because it'll wilt slightly with the heat of our tuna patty. Our poached egg, that can sit just on top like so. And then this glorious cheats hollandaise will drizzle that over the top, let it cascade down the sides. Ooh, looks great. To finish it off, a little sprinkle of the paprika over the top. And if you've got a little leftover of that dill, it can go on top. I also like to add a hint of extra lemon. Just pop that on the side. And that right there is a beautiful breakfast, brunch, even a lunch using some canned tuna and a hollandaise that really stands up to the original.